What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Stranger Things, season four, episode number seven. It is the final episode for part one, and things are getting crazy. I'm excited. They found the entrance to the Upside Down. It was at, uh, what was the name of that lake? Lover's Lake? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> and, you know, they, they got a boat out there, and they found it, because, you know, Dustin's little compass was just going haywire, and... Steve volunteered to jump in because he's the captain of the swim team. He's like, I'll go. So he goes down there, finds it, comes back up, and then he gets pulled into the upside down. He's getting attacked by all these crazy birds. That is, so, ugh, they're like bo dive bombing his like, yeah. his exposed skin. Gross. They're like, the upside down is so horrifying and so scary looking and looks fantastic. Yeah. Looks so cool and just, ah. Hopefully everyone comes and saves him and can get him out because we ain't losing Steve, all right? Mm -mm. We ain't losing Steve. We're not losing the hair, dude. We're not losing Steve. Like, Steve is awesome. So much fun. Him and Dustin, their relationship. And I love that. And him and Robin. Possible and possible rekindling with Nancy. And Nancy. I it would like, like to see it. He's got, like, very unique relationships with everyone. It's great. He does. I love it. It's yeah. fantastic. We're getting a lot more development with Eleven and going through her process of getting her powers back. And we're seeing these flashbacks and, you know, one of the assistants, super sus, like this dude is acting very odd and she's playing with like, she's trying to use like the, what is that, Planko? Planko, yeah. Yeah, from, from Price is Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what it is. And she's trying to like play with that to try to like guide it down and he slid the thing over to one and I felt like that was a clear tell that he was one, but... I don't know if that's true because Eleven was like, oh, he's not around anymore. And then he talked about how Papa doesn't tell the truth. And yeah, that whole situation is pretty wild. That was all very sus. Yeah. And then we saw like a, a flashback sequence where Papa like drew a circle and I he had the kids. I don't like you saying Papa. I well, don't know what it is. It's just Dr. Like Brenner. so weird. Yeah. So he drew circles on the ground and had the kids use their powers to knock each other out. And it was two who was dominating everyone. And then Eleven got him. And then he, she ended up getting bullied, and Which it felt was like just awful. It felt like that's what led to the massacre at the hospital, where her getting bullied led to her and her powers just exploding and taking it out on everyone. And the scene where it's like, "What did I do?" Hands covered in blood situation. So that whole thing is pretty insane. That whole story is heartbreaking, and seeing it all play out as she's remembering it. But on the flip side, it's helping her remember, helping get her powers back. And my, one of my biggest questions is, do all these folks know what we're fighting? I feel like we've been asking that for a couple episodes now because they obviously know there's a threat. They know there's a big problem. Do they know what this threat is? Do they know about Vecna and, and exactly what's going on this time around? Because they were pretty specific with Eleven saving the planet. Yeah. So I'm wondering if they know what the threat is and, and how they have this plan of attack in place to, you know, get her powers back, get her back to Hawkins and... Hopefully come save the day because they need your help, especially if the whole crew is going to be jumping into the upside down at this point, trying to find Vecna and fight him because he's horrifying and he took another kid and the basketball captain dudes basically went like to a town hall with the, the whole town and got this. He's gone like all in. He's doubled down on this whole thing with Eddie being the cause of all of this and being this vessel for the devil and all this stuff. And it's Satan. And, but he got people on his side to like agree with him. He got, and, everybody's going like the whole except town. Except the parents. Except for the parents. Of course. Of, you know, the individuals that we love so The Dungeon much. Dragons crew. The, and Hellfire. The, the Hellfire gang. So that whole thing just sounded like I was really hoping that like dude would see his friend getting like yeah and then be like oh well obviously there's it's no not way Eddie. He, right there's no way he pulled that off but early in the season they basically pointed out this whole article and people talking about how like the Dungeons and Dragons community is doing all kinds of bad stuff so that clearly was already in his head he already had that thought process about that crew and now that this stuff's playing out Eddie the weirdo. Obviously, he's the one responsible for all this, so I feel bad for this dude, but I mean, our crew's with him now, and, and we'll see where that goes and how this all plays out. And Although the officers are coming down the hill, right, and Max is trying to like distract them, so... Yeah, we'll see how they get out of that spot. And, you know, the other part of our crew with Will and Mike and Argyle and Jonathan, like, they're all out doing their thing. They met up with Susie, Dustin's girlfriend. They hacked into all the shit. They got the information they need, and they were on their way out, and it looks like 
from the, the house of a thousand children. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it looks like Argyle's got a new girlfriend and they were hot boxing the van, so they got to get to Nevada and go find Eleven. Yeah. Is that what's going to happen here? They're going to go find so. Eleven and go meet up with her and bring her to Hawkins? Is that how this is all going to play out? It'll be pretty insane. We shall see. And we got Hopper, too. Hopper, Joyce, nice. that whole situation. And Hopper put on another really good act. He needed to, because he knows they're fighting a Demogorgon. He let everyone know basically what's going on. And they're afraid and of fire. He needs to get some kind of weapon to fight the demogorgon and so he got some alcohol he got a lighter i think he's gonna go spinning fire mode he could go like molotov cocktail mode uh, but i'm trying to miss that's the thing i think that's why you try to maximize the like alcohol and the lighter so going fire you could give like alcohol to a bunch of people and toss the lighter around and you could shoot fire and shit but i, I feel like the, an interesting trick i mean the molotov feels like the most powerful weapon but at the same time, if you don't hit your target, you're basically out. And, and there's, like, snow. So, basically water against fire. Yeah, I so don't know how this whole work. crew of prisoners need to fight the Demogorgon. And we'll see if Joyce and Murray get there in time. They've got a really good plan, it seems like, to try to infiltrate this prison. We'll see if they can meet up and save Hopper and get him out before they have to fight a Demogorgon. But I kind of want to see the Demogorgon fight, I'm not going to lie. A little bit. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I think that would be highly entertaining. It would probably be really insane and gruesome and, you know, us. Wow, you're terrible. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a TV show. I, this is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> yes. So there's a whole lot of shit going on. This is the final episode before the last two. <sighs> Feels like a lot of shit's going on and all of it is intense. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Oh shit. Right, right, into, right it. into it. Yeah. Can I get some help, please? Fuck this shit, dude. Oh, there we go. Hey there. They made it. Dude. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, bitch. Batter up. <laughs> Dude, this is you... terrible. Or awesome. This feels like a like a like a D and D campaign even. <laughs> it ah. We need to do what you gotta do, right? Damn, that was intense. Oh, bitch. Great. More running. This is terrifying. I mean, woods and creepy places are scary enough as it is, let alone the woods in Stranger Things. Right. <laughs> or an upside down or <laughs> like this. This is insane. Chapter 7. The Massacre at Hawkins Lab. That was a long one. Ooh, that sounds scary. <laughs> I've given you everything you asked for. I've compromised my principles. I've risked my life, my family's life, all because you assured me this would work. I see a frightened, traumatized little girl. I see that too. Good for us. I mean, she's been through a lot. I'd be fucking scared too. I know you're frightened. You're terribly frightened by what you've seen. But it's this very fear that's now holding you back. I saw what I did. I am a monster. You speak of monsters, superheroes. That's the stuff of myth. People are not so easily defined. Only by facing all of ourselves, the good and the bad, can we become whole. What if I don't want to become whole? And that is a choice. Your choice. The door is always open. This place is not a prison. This is. I'm asking you to trust me again. Journey with me into the past one last time. Stop hiding, Eleven. This is tough. This is tough. Why 
How much time did you skip? You wanted progress. I'm giving it to you. Did he go to the last tape? Oh my god, I don't know. Well, I mean, it seemed that way. It was like the end of yeah. the bookshelf. So, I mean, yeah, I guess. Stay. Oh, you're losing blood. Run, sit, sit. Oh, shit, dude. That does not look good. <laughs> You better be okay. Honestly, but like, they're like their little relationship. Well, not little relationship, you know what I mean. But I mean, how's he gonna get out of this? This place is like Hawkins, but with monsters and nasty shit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is called the Upside Down, my friend. We could go to the police station and steal guns and grenades and whatever we need to blow up those bad things that are guarding the gate. Well, we don't have to go all the way downtown for guns. I have guns. You, Nancy Wheeler, have guns, plural. Full of surprises, isn't she? The Russian macro and the revolver. Oh my god, here we go with Hopper. You know what we are to attempt is quite mad. You got odds for us this time? <sighs> one out of a million. Right? <laughs> a thousand to one? Even if we somehow kill this beast, we still must escape. They will shoot us on sight. We die as monster slayers. The last time I was with Al, she wanted just about nothing to do with me. Just in her way, really. I think back to the way I was with my dad at that age. I was the same way. I like this little relationship that they've created. I do too. Now I need both of them to survive. I mean, Hopper is a given, but... So we can grow, move on, become something of our own. I hope that's what she's doing. Uh, yeah. Well, about that. Nothing about what Alice had to deal with is natural. That beast, that monster in there, is a part of something that wants to hurt Elle, kill her. All I know is that thing, that thing shouldn't be here, it shouldn't be alive. Because it is, it means this still isn't over. I thought I was put here, pay for what I've done. But I might have been put here for some other reason. Maybe I can still help Elle. Even if it's the last thing I do. Here we go. If we want to get out of here, we want to get back to Elle and Mikhail, you and me. We're going to need a miracle. Shit. I still like to know how they freaking captured this fucking thing. Right. Give me uh, candy bars. Unless we saw that in the post credit that I don't remember very well. Try your best not to blink. I blinked, I'm sorry. I totally did. My eyes feel dry just looking at that. <laughs> Today's lesson is going to be about rules. Last night, your sister, Eleven, suffered a concussion during her alone time in the Rainbow Room. Someone did this. Who's going to tell me what happened? Oh my god, these little babies. She must have fallen. Dude, how do you... How do you write yourself out without telling you writing you out? I thought the play would have been for him to, like, throw Elle under the bus. But, like, oh, I totally saw her do something. Yeah. Call her him. But it was supposed to be alone time, so how would he have seen? Oh, that's true. She earned that time. Oh shit, dude, this is not good. What is that? You think because you demonstrate some talent that you're somehow immune to the rules, is that it? No, Papa. That the rules don't apply to you in the same way that they apply to your brothers and sisters? No, Papa. Did you attack Eleven? She told you that, then, then she's lying. She's lying! Oh shit, dude. This is very uncomfortable to watch. Oh my god, dude. Henderson told me you were a badass. Kid worships you, dude. Kind of annoying, to be honest. Ah. Guess I got a little jealous, Steve. I mean that Dustin. We all love Dustin. 
Steve Harrington is actually a good dude. Rich parents, popular, chicks love him. Not a douche? No way, man. That, like, flies in the face of all the laws of the universe. And my own personal Munson doctrine. Still super jealous as hell by this Chris. <laughs> Which is why I would never have jumped in that lake to save your ass. I mean, Eddie, you could compete in the hair category. Dude's got good Lord. head the hair. He does. Him and Steve, they got all the hair. <laughs> The only reason I came in here was because those ladies came in straight after you. Wheeler, she didn't waste a second. Amazing. If I were you, I would get her back. <laughs> a sign of true love as these cynical eyes have ever seen. Nice. Shit! Oh, run! <laughs> I mean, could you even imagine experiencing something like this? Fuck like, no. <laughs> what? I think it was her house. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm like, that it looked like a car or something. It's very dark. Why would they open up a gate at Lover's Lake? The commies? The commies didn't do this. Then who did? Nobody. So it just opened up. She raises an essential question. How did Watergate open up? But it's not the commies or L this time. Holy shit. Light bulb. What if, with each kill, he's not simply killing them. He's making a powerful psychic connection with his victims. A connection powerful enough to rip a hole in the fabric of time and space. He's opening more gates. Oh, damn. Why would he be opening gates to take over the world? Who do we know that wants to take over the world? The Mind Flayer. Vecna's his five-star general. The power to open gates. Damn. <laughs> what? Dustin is so smart. These kids are freaking brilliant. So Vecna is working for the Mind Flayer? Is that That's what wild. Dustin gathered? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Demogorgon is just foot soldiers? <laughs> Great. I'm sure they could hear him, Dustin. Yeah. Yeah. Those aren't guns. I don't understand. I threw these away years ago. Jesus, how many of these did you make? He said he wanted to help. These are from sophomore chemistry. So they're in the past. The reason that my guns aren't here is because they don't exist yet. The last entry is November 6, 1983. The day Will went missing. The day the gate opened. We're in the past. Wow. Trippy, trippy, trippy. It's my mama's birthday, by the way. Dustin! 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 Can you hear me? How and why is there a gate at Lover's Lake? Will, he found a way to speak to Joyce through the lights. Oh, shit, yeah. You seeing this? What in the hell? To open a tear in time and space. That's trippy as hell. <sighs> this is how they're gonna communicate to them. You said he followed Vecna through lights, right? Because I think he's here. <laughs> so good. Remember when I said they wouldn't be stupid enough to go through Watergate? Yeah, they did that. I overestimated them. <laughs> They're there. Yep. And they need your help. A little bit. Oh my god. I do like the way they're bouncing between each story. Yeah. They're doing a good job of keeping the pacing going really smooth. Because there is a lot going on. My god. And I don't think two's very happy. Well, I guess none of them are happy. Eldon and Tattle! She didn't throw anyone under the bus. Two is still in the infirmary recovering. Once he is released, he and the others are going to attempt to kill you. Right here. And Papa will allow it to happen. In fact, he wants it to happen. 
What? He's been planning it for some time now. Why? You frighten him. Oh, shit. You're more powerful than the others, and he also knows he can't control you. That's all he wants. Control. This dude's so interesting. Mm -hmm. If you want to make it out of here alive, you must do exactly as I say. Why do you still help? Because I believe in you. It is time you are free from this hell. Okay. It's so fascinating that those like those flashbacks. Wow. This is absolutely insane. H. Hi. 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 <laughs> that works. Hi. You stupid. 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 <laughs> you can't get back through Watergate? What the hell's Watergate? It's in water and it's a gate. Come on, Steve. It's not that hard to figure out. <laughs> Watergate isn't the only gate. That there's a gate at every murder site. Oh. Oh, because in the... At the trailer, yes. the ceiling's all screwed up. Yes! Do I have to be right on the money before you guys just trust me? Jesus Christ, this kid's got to get his econ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how far is your trailer? So the death at the lake, yeah. the death on the street, mm -hmm. and then at the trailer. Yeah. I feel like this is a constant thing in this show. The bike, nighttime bike yeah. riding. Oh. Oh, I love this. That is very cool shot. Like, I'm horrible with directions. There's no way I'd be able to navigate the upside, the upside down. down. Like, there's no way. Oh, you're ugly. Ah, oh. Hi, friend. I don't want to be friends. She is on her way out. Like, can we trust that the assistant dude was actually like, helping Eleven, and not, like, setting her up for a trap of some sort? Yeah, but... I, okay, I get, I get that there's in her memory, but like, what if she's able to like, remember what actually happened and what if the, the everything that she was shown was a lie or I don't know. Does or she has the power to like change her. Something? Quiet, follow me. Right. That was really creepy. All right, guy, jeez. I'm not going with you, Eleven. Everyone here is a prisoner. Can you feel it? Oh my oh, god. What? Your papa calls it soteria. It weakens me, attracts me. Even if there were another way out, he will find me. And if he finds me, he will find you. Dang, dude. I mean, he's 100% number one. Why else would papa put something in him that would weaken him? Right? And track him. Yeah. I'm just very intrigued by his story. Like, Shit. why is he doing what he's doing? The more we learn about him, the more it's like, why? Oh, is he gonna light the oh. his weapon on fire? That's a good play. Put some alcohol on the rag. But are they gonna shoot him before he gets to do that? It's a lot easier thing to say, hold your ground, without actually knowing what this fucking thing is. I'm horrified. I don't know what the fuck. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, fucker. Oh, bitch. Oh, ah! damn, dude. Oh my god, yes. There you go. Oh my god. Oh shit, no, no, no. Oh, 
Dude, this is insane. Ah! Yeah, Murray! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright. Oh. God, is the fire going out? <sighs> oh shit, dude! Oh, bitch, you better make up. Oh my god. Stab it! Stab it! Fucking stab it! Yes! Oh, javelin throw. Let's Are go. They? Viking. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> nice throw, Hopper. Honestly. He's like, oh. <laughs> he, she came for you. All the way to Russia, dude. Wow. Very emotional. Good stuff. How do you get up there? Dustin, get the fuck out! <laughs> Hurry up, dude! Obviously, it's him. Come on, just run. Not obvious. Jump. Who else would have? I don't know. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> now move your asses, yo! Shit, this is trippy. Yeah, it's very trippy. <laughs> Hell yeah. What if this was somehow all a ploy? Oh my god, 11, don't do that. Don't for, say that. Don't say a, that. For Eleven to pull that out of him. But he was willing to just let her go. I know, but maybe he was able to, like, play her or something. Oh, damn, dude. What if it wasn't her that killed all those people? It was him that killed all those people. Oh, by releasing him? Right. Oh, shit. You knew something so small could cause so much trouble. Thank you. I mean, there's, there's definitely something off with him and his desire to have that relationship with Eleven to build that trust with her. Shit, dude. <gasps> oh, shit. Yep. It's almost like they're connected. Yeah. Because of, like, the way those numbers kind of lined up there. Mm hmm. I think he played her the whole time to get her I trust. Think, I think so. What if he's the one who let out too? Oh. Lied. Maybe he's the one lying. Right. About like. About Papa. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Oh shit. Of course it works. Here we go. And if my theory is correct. Oh, 
Can we just hurry the fuck Seriously, up? Seriously, there are like such a sense of urgency here. Let's go. I can't climb a rope, so that would be fucked for me. Well, it's got the little knots in it, which would help at least. You still gotta have the upper body strength. I ain't get shit. You just gotta get to a certain level and you'll probably fall through the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> Mattress is a great idea. This music is making me a little nervous. Yeah. Like, why is it this so, is like... too easy right now. But it's almost like nursery rhyme type of sleepy music. Dude, let Steve go. He's the one who's wounded. But he's gonna help Nancy. Yeah. Uh... What? What is happening? <gasps> what the hell? Oh no. Did he realize what was happening? Did Vecna realize? Hey. Hey! Stay with me, Nancy! Vecna. Oh shit. Is that Barb? Yeah. Oh, the pool. Remember what you did, Nancy? Or have you already forgotten? Justice for Barb. When I kill someone, I never forget. What? This is awful. This is fucking awful. So it wasn't Eleven who killed everybody. Right. But she's still responsible because she freed him. That's so why. So that's still the what have you done? Right. Man, this sucks that she has to live through this experience again. Right. But like, I mean, it, this is horrible. I, at least she knows she didn't kill people. I guess. Dude. No. Literally everyone. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think it's pretty clear this was all set up. I mean, remember, like, Eleven's little. Yeah. So. Why do you cry for them, Eleven, after everything they did to you? You're, like, crazy tall. You think you need them, but you don't. You don't. Dude, he, he looks. He's creepy as shit he looking is down on her like very that. Very scary looking right there. I know what it's like to be different, to be alone in this world. He was able to, like, manipulate her. Yeah. I see you've been looking for me, Nancy. You were so close to the truth. How was old, blind, dumb Victor? Did he miss me? I've been meaning to check back in, but I've been busy. Like you, I didn't fit in with the other children. Something was wrong with me. All the teachers and the doctors said I was broken. Oh, shit. That's, that's one. The, that's the kid from the flats. As if the world would be any different here. Oh, Victor left this part out of the story. <laughs> yeah. To my surprise, our new home provided a discovery and a newfound sense of purpose. Found a nest of black widows living inside a van. Ah! Most people fear spiders. They detest them. And yet, I found them endlessly fascinating. Found a great comfort in them. The kinship. 
of spiders? Humans are a unique type of pest, multiplying and poisoning our world all while enforcing a structure of their own. All right, crazy guy. Each life a faded, lesser copy of the one before. Wake up, eat, work, sleep, reproduce, and die. I prefer Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. I could make my own rules. I could restore balance to a broken world. A predator, but for good. <gasps> ah! I could do more than I possibly imagined. I could reach into others. This is Vecna. This is fucking terrible. My naive father believed it was a demon cursing them. But my mother somehow knew it was I who was holding up that mirror. Dude, this is so insane. She left me with no choice. Each life I took, I grew stronger, more powerful. They were becoming a part of me. I yet know my limits, and it nearly killed me. to find myself placed in the care of a doctor, the very doctor I had hoped to escape. Dr. Martin Brenner. Oh my God. Papa. This is like some next level shit here. They're not gone, Eleven. They're still with me. In here. You tricked me. No, I saved you. They know exactly what they're fighting against. Okay, yeah. That's why they brought Eleven and showing her these memories. I can't believe this is where we are in this story. Right? This is so insane. Imagine what we could do together. We could reshape the world, remake it however we see fit. All right, Anakin Skywalker. Sorry. And is this how she's found in the woods at the very beginning of the show? She escapes this and runs away? Holy shit, dude. Oh, is this like your life flashing before your eyes type of stuff? I love you. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Superhero landing. <laughs> oh, what? opened the portal that way. Oh shit, dude.
This is wild. This is so cool, but also so terrible. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, that was the what? Zero one. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh my god. My no, god. does Nancy get out? Is Steve out? Where is everybody? <laughs> oh my god, no. Holy shit, dude. <sighs> that was absolutely bonkers. It was wild. <sighs> this story has gone so far off the rails in like the best way possible. Like, holy shit. Even Uba is shocked. I if know. If you could see him right now, he's just like this he's with his away. arms up. He's been Vecnud. Oh my god, poor Uba. <laughs> this is so like Eleven created all of this. She created all of it, and so, well, I mean, th because of one. Right, because of one. Like one was able to influence her and build a relationship with her, and like. Basically, she is create, powerful. create this bond. Like, he knew exactly what he was doing and who he was doing it with. And that was the whole plan all along. Build this bond, build this relationship, create this trust with basically deception and lies. Got her to pull this device out of his neck that was basically haltering his powers and controlling him and Just monitoring crazy. him. And that unleashed him. To literally slaughter everybody there. And it wasn't her fault. And it was, I mean. No, no. No. She didn't do it. But because she was, I mean, she was influenced. So it's it's a hard thing to like and blame her. she's a her. baby. She right. was a child. She was a child. Like we're seeing her as like current 11, but she was little. Little, little. And that's why Papa's like, what did you do? Yeah, Probably that? more a result of. You freed him versus, like, her actually being responsible for killing anyone. Yeah. And I'm assuming that this leads right into episode one of the show, where she's out running away. Right. And she gets found and... Like, the this story... I mean, it's incredible. It's really good the way they wrap things up yeah. and full circle things. Totally. I, I really enjoy this. The, the way they tell... Like, that was a 90-plus minute episode. It did not feel like it was plus 90 minutes. No, I, my like, eyes are so dry from being, like... Just mesmerized. Blue. Yeah, like, like oh at, at one point, this one started to lose it. And I'm like, oh my god, no! <laughs> I don't know if everyone with Brenner knows what the stakes are here, but he knows exactly what's going on. Yeah. He knows exactly why, like, that's why he needs Eleven. That's why he's putting her through all of this. They know what's at stake. So I, I think it's pretty clear now they were able to basically put the pieces of the puzzle together to figure out one is the one doing all of this. So, I mean, you knew from the moment we met him that there was something. There's something sus, yeah. Like, there was something there, and the moment he started talking about, like, number one... And talking about Brenner lying and trying to get, like, Eleven and encouraging her and this and that. It's like, okay, yeah, you're one. Like, I, that was immediate for me. But the swerve and the twist that he's Vecna because of Eleven. So crazy. <laughs> Eleven was so powerful, she blasted him into the Upside Down and created this monster. This is so wild. It's so good, though. It I'm is. Really, I'm really enjoying it. It is so good. The horror is done so good. Visually, it's it's mind-boggling how good this show looks. Like, even while he was tumbling in that last scene, it's like, dude, that shit looks good. Mm -hmm. Like, it looks So that's good. why he looks all charred from all the lightning. Crazy stuff. And as he kills, he builds up. And he's been doing the killing since... The beginning. Yeah. Justice for Barb. Oh, Barb. Uh, like, why Why was Nancy selected to see this story, too? Because that was her trauma. Feeling responsible for Barb. 
That's sad. Yeah. Do you think Victor knows? Well, he, obviously he did. He knew that his son was doing something crazy because like, or no, wait, the mom didn't tell him yet, maybe. I need, a, I need a refresher on that story. If Victor knew and why... Well, no, Victor saw him collapse. Right. And was like, oh no, he's dead too. That's why right. he thinks what he thinks. He thinks that his, both of his children and are then dead. he did that to his eyes. Yes, and... yes. Okay, so... Okay. Wow. I mean, that's a hell of a hanger right there too. Because it's like... Hello? Because Steve is still there? Yeah. Nancy's wandering around in her brain though right she's standing like, right there right. she's with steve but like it feels like she's the next vecna victim, victim yeah like it feels like in that's the where, upside down right that's where it feels like it's going i mean this is so interesting this is so it's one of those things where we're sitting in season four of a show seven episodes in was this the plan all along from this like like, when I go back and think about, like, if you go back and rewatch episode one of this show, it completely changes the game. Like it's, That's good writing. I mean, that's right great there. story. That's amazing yeah. storytelling. I mean, just being able to tell this elaborate story. Like, season one was amazing. The other two seasons were okay. This one is fucking epic to this point. Just the visuals, the, the way... I love the pacing of these episodes. The way they, like, basically pull you along to a story... And they basically give you a cliffhanger within the episode to get you to the next story, and then they come back to it. And it just constantly is leaving you on the edge of your seat, being like, oh my god, I want more of what happened with them. And then it's like they take you to this other story, you're like, oh shit, what happened? And then they take you to the, like, they keep constantly pulling you on a string, essentially, and so good. Well, I mean, where they left us with Hopper and Joyce, are they going to get the fuck out of there? And Marie? <laughs> Yeah, I mean they gotta. Yeah, they gotta figure out how to get out of that spot and get home. And can we get the the, the gang back together, please? Yeah. But I mean, I feel like, like we've been watching a lot of really good stuff lately. This is right up there, yes. easily. Yes. It's easily one of the best seasons of stuff that we've watched over the last year for sure. Yes, so good. I mean, and the crazy thing is, I wasn't excited for this season. Me neither. It I'm was one excited. of those things where I'm like, oh, fourth season is like, what are they going to do now? Well, this is what the fuck they're doing now. Yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> and good it's job. so good. How dare I ever, ever doubt this? This group of people who created the show, who wrote the show, the Duffer Brothers, right? I uh, underestimated you. So good. <laughs> I just didn't know where else it could go. Well, and we're they not have creative. Not that creative, so, that's for damn sure. Yes, that's very, why they have well people done. that do this. Yeah, I'm so happy that this show is what it is right now. Because, again, I love when a show could just take you in all these directions that you never anticipated going. They keep giving you a twist after twist after twist. And, I mean, this show has been full of twists. Right. And just having Brenner back... And watching what Eleven actually went through. And like seeing this whole story with like the Demogorgon and the Mind Flayer and now Vecna. Like, holy shit, this is so much bigger than what we thought we were watching. Yep. So. Good stuff. Yeah, we're not that far away from the release of the last two episodes. So I think we timed this pretty damn well. I know y'all wanted these very quickly. But the I length, of the, the, length of the episodes made it challenging. Like, not not to mention that we have a lot of stuff going on and a lot of shows going on. And it's not easy getting to, how long are these episodes? Like 70 plus minutes, all of them? It's not easy. But I feel I think we timed it pretty well. Because it's going to lead right into the last two episodes and we're going to be ready. Good job, We're babe. going to be ready to go. So, I can't wait to see how they wrap this up. Yep. I mean, I know the finale is like an hour and a half. Oh, or two and a half hours. What? It's a full length movie. We're probably going to do a watch along for that. Yeah. We're going to make that like a movie night. Yeah. That's got to be. I think that'll be a lot of fun yeah. to do that with Stranger Things in the finale. But because we don't have two and a half hours outside of movie nights. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that's what we're going to do. So keep your lookout on that. And we'll do it on the Nikki and Steven live channel, which there should be a link down below. If you guys aren't subscribed to the live channel. What are you doing? Go subscribe to the live channel. Yes. We have a lot of fun over there. Please. But that that's pro as of now, that's the plan. We're going to do a watch along for the finale. Yeah. I think that's going to be super cool. So, I mean, I love where the story's gone. The You could tell that they've got a beefy budget. A little bit. A little bit. 
looks good. Thank you guys for joining us on this ride. Yeah, it's so I fun. Can't wait to see where it goes. Do you have any other thoughts? I don't. I just yeah. Incredible. This is so good. Incredible. You guys leave all your comments and we'll see you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.